Player. What should I roll to see inside the chest? Perception or investigation? DM. Initiative. What? What? <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody, it's Scoodle Doodle Rudel here and welcome to another D&D memes video. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Before jumping into this video, I just want to say maybe you leave a little like and a little comment for the YouTube algorithm to like the video and promote it more. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Truly terrifying, the mind of a child is me asking a young child for ideas for a monster's abilities. The most horrific description that I've ever heard. <laughs> Wait, no, he made me curious. Did he actually share the description? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read the context for you as well. I'm working on a big mini-boss monster for the end of this episode of my episodic campaign in about two sessions. The monster is supposed to be a living siege weapon made by demons a thousand years ago against the Archfey, who were able to steal it away in the Feywild. Now it is being released and will be sent to destroy the Archfey city and the party will need to stop it. I was trying to think of cool abilities or things the monster could have, but I was drawing a blank. So I asked a kid to give me ideas for a monster that could destroy a city. He came up with some pretty f horrific f for a child. Multiple rows of teeth, a breath to suck up people to devour, armored face for ramming with a mantle to destroy buildings. Really good ideas though, so I'm using them. <laughs> It's also Tarasque sized and speeds up as it charges towards the target, moving up to 120 feet around. Okay, that's not really as bad as I expected, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> dragons, goblins and ourselves. I play Dungeons and Dragons. If you play Dungeons and Dragons, then what's a creature that you can fight? Dragons. <laughs> that's on me, I set the bar too low. That, that is a very low bar. <laughs> A good villain is ruthless, but the DM, the DM feels regret. When you're the DM who loves their players and their characters, but you have to play the brutal and maniacal villain destroying their lives. Jesus Christ. Um, you don't have to though, I mean you can make the campaign a different style of a campaign. It doesn't have to revolve around the big bad evil guy that wants to destroy everything. <laughs> Wholesome adventurer hours. Incredibly strong paladin. Super smart wizard, musically talented bard, god touched warlock, buff nimble monk, the NPC with no powers that they adopted, trying their best. <laughs> nice, very wholesome. You can certainly try. My entire attitude as a DM. I'm skeptical that you could, yet intrigued that you may. <laughs> I'd like to make a ranged attack. Shouldn't necromancers be buff? Why would they be? They do so much deadlifting, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> it's, it's always the puns, it's always the puns that get me. <laughs> My players hate chests now. Player. What should I roll to see inside the chest? Perception or investigation? DM. Initiative. What? What? <laughs> I feel bad for the player, but I think he should be able to get what's going on <laughs> from the context. You need a good balance of everything in D&D and real life. Player. I would like to make a character who won't die in the first round of combat. The D&D community. Wouldn't that make you a min-maxer? <laughs> I mean, come on, you can't expect to survive level 1, okay? You just die until the DM decides to allow you to start at level 2, okay? The real drive for adventure. Making a horny bard character and letting the DM write the backstory. Backstory. You already seduced a dragon and you're a dragonborn parent. Now, the dragon is making you adventure to afford child support. <laughs> oh, that that's that's actually a fun that seems like it could be a fun backstory to to role play. <laughs> Loophole. Ouch. Did you just try to kill me? Hey, what gives? How come you won't stab through that guy? I, Nightender, Blade of the Dawn, cannot pierce off the flash of anyone with a pure heart. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Klong, that's a pretty significant loophole. I loathe you. It's not really a loophole though, because I mean, he clearly says that he just can't pierce the flesh, so... Trying to decide if I should play Barbarian, so I made a pro and con list. Barbarian. Pro. Decent damage, high health, and rage. Con. Added to your AC when you are not wearing any armor. <laughs> this made me laugh harder when I saw it while scrolling through Reddit yesterday. <laughs> Did someone order a bard? Pole dances with bow. Should've cast Hunter's Mark. Okay, I like that. But make mine a double. 
Look, a distraction! Disengage for the flippers! Sneak attack. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna flip in and then I'll shoot an arrow. And then I'll do another flip and then I'll shoot an arrow again. And then I'm gonna go in for an unarmed strike. Yeah, bam! Oh, I'm so zen. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull, Eldritch Smite. Uh, uh, okay, Helm, take the wheel. Uh, Misty's dead. No. Have pointy sticks. Did someone order a bar? Oh yeah. Toss a coin to your archer. I mean, could it be any more fabulous? Oh, oh crap. Um, <clears throat> Oh, valley of plenty. So I'm leaving this one in the video because I think it was great and I really hope you also enjoy watching it. Uh, but really credit has to go to the guy on TikTok that made it uh, bloomy. Like I hope you can see his little uh, name there on the video. Unfaithful patron. Demon. Well, it's been nice talking to you, but I have to go see my other warlocks. Warlock hurt. Other warlocks? Well, yeah. What did you think? I thought this was special. Look. I gave you my soul. And I gave you a deep end cantrip. <laughs> Isn't that more than enough for a mortal soul? Draws Donjon. Oh no. Anytime I had a problem and I used the deck of many things, boom, right away. I had a different problem. <laughs> yeah, that, that really summarizes how the deck of many things works. <laughs> this is the one thing I'm good at, okay? Let me have this. The rogue flubbing a DC-15 lockpicking check. This one's really stuck. Our artificer using Flash of Genius. Are you turning it the right way? The rogue. No, I picked the other four and when I got to this one I thought, we're in a rut, so let's shake things up. <laughs> Welcome to Flavor Townie. My players. Thank you so much for DMing. This campaign seems super cool so far. Me hiding the fact that I started this adventure solely to make the final boss an evil fey chef named Guy Fairy, who runs a cooking empire called Flavor Towny. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Please enjoy the campaign. Interesting. Wizard who got tired of fighting and casts f***ed up unethical spells like Super Brain Hemorrhage to end them faster. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. One time I did summon water inside the guy's lungs and the GM allowed it because he had been playing for years and never seen anyone do that. <laughs> okay, not seeing anyone ever do something doesn't mean you should allow someone that tries to actually do it. Me. I can raise the temperature of a space by 5 degrees Fahrenheit per success. DM. Okay. And that's 6 successes, so 30 degrees. Okay. And inside the human body is a space, right? I don't like where this is going. So I'm going to raise the temperature inside his body 30 degrees. <laughs> yeah, so he's dead now. He was fine and then he went through all the stages of a heat stroke in half a second before his body went no thank you and just shut off to stop it from being so hot. Good job. <laughs> I cast f*** you. I don't know why, but that last one seems not worse, but it seems meaner than all the others before. <laughs> the f*** you spell. Axes. Its weakness definitely has to be axes. Giant demon werewolf not bothered by any of the swords impaling it. Roars. Can you add a roar sound instead? Giant demon werewolf not bothered by any of the swords impaling it. My players, why would they keep using swords? I bet my axe will do the job. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm sure my axe is a lot better than all of those giant swords that are already inside the beast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The the one that the one that goes through its head, <gasps> dude, that just looks <gasps> up. Years of academy training wasted. If you want to cry, I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> it's a book of magic items that the party missed. That is very sad. At the same time, they don't have to know that they missed them, and you can always reuse them later, <laughs> so it's not that bad. Where are they? So, brass and bronze dragons exist. What? Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc, and bronze is an alloy of copper and tin. This implies that zinc and tin dragons exist. So where are they, and why hasn't anyone heard of them? Jesse, what the f*** are you talking about? <laughs> he's, he's out of line, but he's right. <laughs> Skill checks are hard sometimes. Player. Natural 20. DM. What's the total? Player. The... What? 
What do you mean total? I rolled a 20. I shouldn't have to give you any quote unquote total. What is that? He tried. Big bad evil guy. Bard desperately casting vicious mockery. Q <laughs> wins the save. Those are your last words? Q? Come on, you can do better. Bard trying again. <laughs> wins the save again. You're dying, you know that? This meme is sad because it reminds me of the days when um, Game of Thrones was still acknowledged as a good show overall. <laughs> but oh well. Jesus, take the dice. Hip young pastors. You know who your real life DM is? It's God. And this, points to Bible, is your player's handbook. Beware the lizard folk cleric with the chef fit. PC. You said you could heal him. Why are you building a fire? Lizard folk PC. I said I can cure him. Hand me the salt and hickory chops. See, you went wrong when you allowed the wizard folk in the party. <laughs> Chad stat generation. Rolling for stats. My group rolls 3d12, drop lowest, minus 4 for our stats. No, that's not a good way to roll your stats. The best way is to roll 3d6 in order and re-roll all if the total of the ability scores is lower than 68, unless you have two scores higher than 16 and <laughs> using point by. I made an array of balanced stats without any drama or weird rules. Me too. <laughs> I feel like rolling for your stats is just can be more fun just because it's more uh, random, you know, and you actually have to, I don't know, deal with random consequences based on low rolls the entire game, which may or may not be enjoyable for some people, obviously. I mean, using point buy is just safe for everything. <laughs> Could the stories be true? Rogue. Who's that? Paladin. That's Kelowna Battlespike, one of the greatest heroes ever. Oh yeah? What makes her so great? She managed to save the world without a tragic backstory. Rogue shocked. I impossible! <laughs> There's no way someone can do that. <laughs> that, that. Especially the rogue would react like that, yeah. Y'all should watch Demon Slayer. Yeah, you should. This <laughs> may be the most stereotypical D&D barbarian ever. <laughs> How didn't I think of that before? Yeah, that, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be it for this video, thank you so much if you've made it until the end, and please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing for more if you haven't already. Also, thank you to everyone supporting the channel on Patreon, I really appreciate it, so thanks for the support given there. Links below if you wanna check that out, as well as the Discord server and subreddit and other social media. And yeah, that's it, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, bye!